When I was a kid, I always played with Legos. I built cars, planes, motorbikes, but now I built an arm. Meet David Aguilar. My name is David Aguilar. I am from Andorra and I'm 18 years old. When David was born, his right arm hadn't fully developed. This is the my right arm. Well, growing up, it was quite annoying because I received uh, a lot of commentaries like, oh, you don't have a hand or something like that. And while some would see this as a disadvantage, David is just a regular kid. He likes EDM. He goes by the name Hand Solo. Get it? He has an embarrassing dad. <laughs> he goes to school. This is my school. And he can open doors with his Lego arm. So cool. Growing up, he was obsessed with Lego. So much so, he wanted to make it a part of him, literally. I built my first prosthetic arm when I was nine years old, and I built it around my hand. It, it started being a boat. Unfortunately, the Lego bricks weren't strong enough, and it wasn't for another nine years till he would try again. This is MK1. This is Lego Technic. It's like uh, the sophisticated part of Lego. I can do push-ups with this thing, so it's quite strong. When I first built the arm and it was fully functional, I went to the mirror and I was like, oh, oh, oh. That model, the MK1, only took five days to build. Of course, like any good inventor, he got straight to work on an upgrade. And this is MK2. It has a battery that works like a biceps and it has this fishing cable that ties up in here. When I fix this to my shoulder, I can do this and the arm closes. I can stop in the middle and move it by myself. When I first brought this, they were all really amazed because how can somebody create a hand out of Legos? Uh, I was a normal guy and when I built the, the arm, everyone was like, you're awesome, you're, you're really uh, smart. They told me they are really proud to be, to be my friends. It's amazing.